Fourth Bay will get the brunt of this storm. Da Lynn spent the day in Santa Rosa talking to people who are getting their homes ready for the rain. It's the calm before the storm and perhaps not a bad time to prepare for one. People have been coming by the Santa Rosa Public Works parking lot to pick up sandbags to try to keep their homes dry. As the dark clouds move in, people on the ground move fast to prepare for the incoming storm. Santa Rosa resident Jim Piercy is worried about his garage. We have a creek behind our house and so the water table is pretty high. Yeah. And so water's running alongside my house. It's getting in my garage. I don't want it to get anything wet, any of my tools or anything wet. So I want to get a few bags, line, line them up. His garage fled a last winter. He's trying to prevent a repeat. It's not getting in my house, just in my garage. So yeah, I just want to play it safe. Jim was not alone. We found other residents shoveling, filling, and bagging up sand. Tony Ferreira is worried about his roof and the foundation. He picked up 16 bags. Trying to like uh, stream the water elsewhere instead of like having it where it's going to go underneath the foundation. Make sure that gutters are unclogged. A lot of the leaf litter uh, from the winds that we had earlier this week have been cleaned up so that when the rain comes, your storm drains work, your gutters work, and the water goes where it needs to go. Paul Lowenthal is a division chief and fire marshal with the Santa Rosa Fire Department. He says while there are no imminent concerns over mudslides in the burn scar areas, people should always be prepared and have emergency supplies. We saw a number of trees and power lines down earlier this week with just the wind itself. Uh, so that's a, a reminder that we very well could see additional power lines and trees coming down which could uh, result in power outages. Santa Rosa experienced some pretty bad flooding over the years, like this one in October 2021. Some homes were under a foot of water, but forecasters say the incoming system is not expected to cause any significant damage. I'm trying to be prepared, so luckily I'm always uh, you know, ahead of the game. As for Jim, he picked the four bags. He hopes they'll provide a short-term fix. <sighs> I know I'm going to have to do something construction wise, but until then I'll just use sandbags and and just try to keep it keep the water out. Most Bay Area cities offer free sandbags even on the weekends. They're typically open 24 seven. If you need some, check online. You should be able to find a sandbag station near you.